Hello, I'm Nason Tackett, design engineer of the new Hearback Pro. Since designing the original Hearback system over 14 years ago, we have been listening to engineers and musicians who use personal monitoring systems. And what we have learned is that a personal monitor system should be a useful tool and not a distraction to the performance. The new Hearback Pro system consists of two devices, the personal monitor mixers and the hub. Here we have the front of the Hearback Pro hub. As you can see, it's very similar to the original Hearback Hub. We have a power switch with a dual power supply indicator that illuminates upon the presence of two power supplies. This can be used for redundancy or for powering up to 32 mixers off of a single hub. Next, we have a three-way input switch with A, B, which are card slots located on the rear of the hub, and H bus which is a bus used for daisy chaining multiple hubs together. Next, we have 16 channel level indicators, which illuminate blue, green, yellow, and red to indicate the amplitude of the signal coming in. Here we have six sample rate LEDs that indicate the sample rate from 44.1 kilohertz up to 192 kilohertz. Finally, we have a color changing logo that indicates hub status. Red indicates an error such as clock error. Blinking red indicates a problem such as over temperature or over voltage, which we'll get into a little later when we describe the back of the hub. And if everything's fine and dandy, we indicate blue. This is a comparison between the original Hearback Hub and the Hearback Pro Hub, which is on the bottom. The original Hearback Hub had an analog input, ADAT input, HEAR bus, and eight mixer outputs. With the HEARBACK Pro, we have four card slots which can be populated with input cards, output cards, or mixer network cards. This allows you to configure a hub however you need to. You can configure one hub with four network cards for up to 32 mixers to be powered off of one hub, or you could populate all card slots with input cards. This is the hub main card. We have two power connections. The first one is the primary power connection. The second one is the auxiliary, which can be used for redundancy or for powering up to 32 mixers on a single hub. Here we have the H bus in and out connections, which are used for daisy chaining hubs up to 500 feet apart. These can be used to expand your system infinitely. Here we have a program connection. It's a standard USB connection, which is used for updating firmware. This is a simple drag and drop procedure because this device shows up on your computer as a mass storage device. Down here, we have A, B, C, and D error indicators, which will illuminate if there's any kind of an error. Please see our user's manual. This is our analog input card. Each card is eight channels and features a DA88 style connector like our original Hearback. Each channel has a jumper for a 10 dB pad to allow signals up to plus 22 dBU. Upon special request, we can modify this to accept signals as hot as plus 28 dBU. The cards feature a 24-bit Delta Sigma converter and have a user selectable sampling rate of 44.1 up to 192 kilohertz. This is our mixer network card. Each card allows eight mixers to connect. Remember, four of these cards can be populated in one hub to allow up to 32 mixers. The card uses standard gigabit ethernet with power over Ethernet to provide power and audio data to each mixer. Due to our low latency protocol, these ports will only link at gigabit speeds. And using advanced internal Ethernet circuitry, cables can be run up to 500 feet to each mixer. Hello, Max with Hear Technologies introducing you to the Hearback Pro. Like our legacy system, eight channel system that everyone's familiar with, one of the major features of the new Pro system is simplicity and ease of use. 
The 17 controls on the face of the Hearback Pro are actually continuous pots. They have 256 steps of resolution, so it just feels ex and reacts exactly as a normal pot would on a normal mixer that you're used to. Notice that as you turn the pot, the LED indication gives you a rough idea of where you are, so you can tell what your mix is immediately just by looking at the front of the mixer. You don't have to hit a button or run through a menu to find out, say, where the bass player is set. Because these are continuous pots, they're parametric. We can have, make them do other things. So, channel 13's volume pot now becomes the pan control. We can set our pan anywhere we wish as we can on any of the 16 channels. Note that we went farther with this pan function. Our original 8-channel legacy system had a link function that would hard pan two channels left and right. So on the Pro, if you hold pan, just touch one of two knobs. They are now hard panned left, right, and they track each other no matter which knob you control. So you could actually have eight stereo channels instead of 16 monos if you wish. The 17th input on the Pro is the aux. The aux has, of course, its own volume control. And you're selectable between either the microphone input which provides 15 volts phantom power, or flick the switch, and you can go to the balanced line input. The neat thing about the aux is if you do have a microphone set here, that becomes your ambient mic if you wish. The same microphone could actually be used for the built-in intercom. If you hit the intercom button on this mixer, it's a broadcast to everyone with a Hearback mix, Pro Mixer, and everyone gets to hear the message. Guys, skip the next song. We're running out of time. The fourth button on the front of the Hearback Pro is a preset button, so that if you get, your, if you get everything the way you like it, simply hold the button, store the preset, and you can come back to it at a later time. The bottom of the Hearback Pro has, of course, the RJ45 for data and uh, for power, a stereo quarter-inch headphone output, and an eighth-inch stereo headphone output, so if you have in-ears, that type of thing. We had many requests for this, so we implemented it. We also have the same type of balanced line outputs that we had on the legacy system. You can go to a wedge, you can go to a recorder, or whatever you need to do. Proudly made in the USA, the Hearback Pro is a culmination of all our customer suggestions and everything that Hear Technologies has learned over the years. Hi, I'm Donnie with Hear Technologies, and I'm going to show you some of the more advanced features of the Hearback Pro. The Ethernet connector on the Hearback Pro has two status indicating LEDs. If you've got a red logo and no LEDs are blinking, that indicates you've got no Ethernet connection. If you have a red logo and just the orange LED, that indicates you've got an Ethernet link, but no data is coming across. If your logo is red and you have both lights with the green blinking, that indicates you are getting data but it isn't valid audio data. This could be if you're plugging to the wrong network. If your logo is blue and you've got both the LEDs blinking, then everything's good. The logo of the Hearback Pro Mixer is a status indicating logo. When it's blue, that indicates you're getting audio data and power. Everything's good to go. However, if it turns red, that indicates you're getting power, but no audio data or clock. Anything in between blue and red, such as a purple color, indicates you've got power and you've got a connection, but you're dropping audio data. This could be due to bad wiring or an incompatible network switch. Make sure you're using the Hearback Pro Hub or an approved gigabit network switch, which a list can be found on our online owner's manual. The other indication that this shows is when it's blinking red, your mixer is overheating. The pan button on the Hearback Pro mixer serves two purposes. 
the first being stereo link pairs of channels. This can be done with adjacent channels such as 1 and 2, 3 and 4, etc. To stereo link channels, press and hold the pan button until all the lights blink green. Now, just grab and turn one of the two knobs that you want to hard pan left and right. You'll notice that one went hard left, two went hard right. To exit the pan mode, simply press it twice. Now you're back to volume control. When you adjust the volume on either of your stereo link channels, you'll notice that they track in unison. The second purpose of the pan knob is to pan a mono channel within the stereo field. The panning is a true 3 dB, 3 dB dip right in the middle. So if I want to adjust the snare drum, for example, I can press pan, and now I have panning control of going left to right. If you forget that you're in pan mode, you can leave it, and in 30 seconds, it will go right back to the volume control. The built-in intercom on the Hearback Pro uses the aux source, whether it be the XLR input or the stereo line input. You just select it via the switch. It's a momentary switch, so when you push the button, everyone lights up and you can see that you're broadcasting now. If you need to lock the intercom or latch it, you just triple tap. And now, this intercom is broadcasting without you having to hold the button. If someone's left their intercom latched and you need to unlatch them from another station, all you do is triple tap on that station and now it kicked them off. This, inter this mixer is now broadcasting. While you're broadcasting, you can set your input gain via the master knob. You'll notice as the intercom is latched, the master now becomes your input gain. Get it set where you'd like, and now that is the gain of your aux input. On the receiving end, there's no need to adjust the volume of your incoming audio because we've implemented an auto gain function. So if you get a message across the intercom, you do not have to adjust anything. If for any reason you need to disable the intercom on a mixer, you simply unplug the power, plug it back in, and hold intercom while it's powering up. You'll notice these buttons blink. You can release and now toggle your intercom on or off. Once you have it where you like it, you just hold the intercom button for three seconds and your mixer will reboot. Once it's done rebooting, you can now see that the intercom is now turned off. We put four storable and recallable presets into the Hearback Pro. This can be especially useful if you're a studio and have multiple bands coming in during the week. To use the presets, after you've made your adjustments, simply get everything how you want it, press and hold the preset button, and you can save it to a preset. If you want to make more adjustments, you'll notice that your preset indicator is now blinking to let you know that you've made an adjustment on there and it has not been saved. To save it, it's the same operation, press and hold. If you want to move it to a, a different preset, press and hold the button until it starts stepping through the numbers. I want it on four. So now you have the identical preset one and preset four. If you want to wipe a preset, press and hold the pan and auxiliary button and everything resets to zero you can then store that zeroed out preset to any one of the four. Whatever changes you have made and have not saved will be remembered after power down. So it's really a fifth working preset. The LED lights on the front of the Hearback Pro Mixer are all dimly lit so that in low light situations you can still see where you're at within zero to 100%. 
We've implemented a special feature on the Hearback Pro to show you your input set signal status. Right now I've got all the levels turned down. If I press and hold the aux button, you'll see that the blinking lights now indicate that I have signal coming into the hub on each of the 16 channels. This can be useful if maybe you're working with an unlabeled mixer and you're not sure where you're at. You can easily speak into a microphone or hit your bass strings and see where you're popping up. If I start turning things up, like I've got overhead drums on one and two, kick on three, snare on four, hi-hat on five, bass on six, keys, and a Rhodes, maybe some vocal too. You'll now start seeing that the master knob is indicating your RMS level of the mix bus. This will show you exactly how much headroom you have left. Obviously, we have a lot of headroom left. To exit this mode, press any button, and you'll jump right back into volume control. While you are in this mode, you can still make adjustments, even to the master knob. It'll jump back and show you exactly where your level's set, and you'll jump right back into volume control. To display the firmware version currently on your mixer, simply pull the power, reinsert the power cable, and hold the preset button while it's powering up. You'll notice these bottom lights flash, and when they do, you can let go. Your master knob LED shows the major release version, whereas your channel knob LED shows the minor release. So right now on this mixer we have version 1.1. This can be useful for diagnostics if you ever have a problem with your mixer. To exit the firmware version, simply press and hold the preset button for three seconds. Your mixer will now reboot and return back to normal function. The Hear Technologies AM12 microphone is a 12-inch cardioid condenser gooseneck mic. This works perfect as an ambient mic for your Hearback Pro mixer, or even as the intercom mic. You can use it anywhere else you see fit, such as a podium. Not only is the Hearback Pro hub modular, but so is the mixer. We put a card slot on the side, which will allow you to plug in our future accessories. We've got some really interesting things in the works now that'll let you use your mixer in ways that you've never thought possible. The Hear Technologies tote bag is a padded bag that's designed to carry one four pack, which is four mixers in one hub. However, partitions are Velcro, so you can rearrange and customize this bag to carry whatever you'd like. You can find this and our other accessories on our website at hearback.com. Keep an eye out for our other videos detailing the accessories we have in the works, which will allow you to use your system in really interesting ways. We currently work with all existing protocols, but we built this thing to be future-proof. So as new protocols emerge, you can rest assured knowing that your system will work with just the simple change of a card. Because the mixer and hub are based on a card slot system, the Pro is set up for future expansion and for future features, whatever they may be. The eight channel legacy system is still being manufactured and is reverse compatible with the Pro via an optional ADAT legacy HearBus card. The HearBack Pro is designed by audio engineers and musicians for audio engineers and musicians and is manufactured right here in Huntsville, Alabama. Follow us on Facebook for all of our latest adventures and product developments. Reach out to us, we love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get all the latest video updates from us. We look forward to hearing from you soon.